the shop hop. We're doing 14 stores in two days, and I'm going to try to remember to video at every store when I enter. So here we go. First stop, Sheep Yarn Shop. We're as far away from where we live as we can go. There we go, there's the Minnesota Annual Shop Hop. And their game is the Amazing Labyrinth, and it will make that mitten, there's the yarn, and it will make that mitten. This is absolutely lovely. Look at this light and airy, beautiful scarf. And here's the kit. Now the kit is enough yarn in to almost um, make two of them. I wondered. It's got a lot of purple in it because in the pattern it's got a purple edge just like this. Oh, sure. So the person who did this one decided I don't want a purple edge. So she, because uh, you had to you know, knit it separately and so on. So what she did was she made the edges just seed stitch. Can you always make a stop at the button corner? <laughs> Next up, darn it anyway, their theme is Carnival Games. I already took a sneak peek inside. Wait until you see what they have set up. So cute. I love this bag. Isn't that super cute? You check in and then look at, they have a little ducky. You have to match two. Looks like you have your door prizes on. And then they've got the fun mirrors. That's awesome. Okay, I'll stand in one in front of one of you for everyone. Yeah, that's about how tall I am. <laughs> that's about how long my feet feel. Oh, we like this one much better. Look at those skinny legs. <laughs> they have so much cute stuff. This is like an old building. We're right on the end. And then there's a second floor. Where we're going. Yeah. Yeah. Where you are. She sells quince. It's funny though. They look so different. When I looked at this, I realized, oh, they're just one from the area. Exactly. Mixing it up a little bit. We thought we could do a survey. If people are scared Scarf. of birds, they might go with this one. Even though it's Look exactly at that lovely the same. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, and we did just get some life in the long grass in. Yeah. Yesterday. Is that cute? Circus? Okay, more quince, more chops. No, are you kidding? I don't know how to crochet that well. They have both patterns though. They have a knit and a crochet. And we have a crocheter in our car today. She, um, she knits, but crochet is her thing. So they've got a really nice seating area back here if you want to stop in and knit a little. There's their fingering weight wall. Well, they have their, uh, it's their open house. There's yeah, Hilka yeah. and Renee that I'm traveling yeah, with today. Wave! I'm videoing for my podcast. Yeah. And then Matt's over there in his beautiful gray cabled sweater. Look at all this. Three Irish girls. Bulky. Which I need for my bada bing cowls that I'm making for Christmas presents. So I have to pick a couple of these, I think. Look at how cute this is decorated. All those little yellow yeah. ducks and the balloons. Isn't that cute? Oh, I think. Okay, next up, Nin from the Heart. This is where we're going. Everybody's already in. Do you have long extensions? Yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, homes. All right. This is one of my favorite yarn stores in the whole world. 
And this is what they have here. Look at what how this is hopping. There's their pattern. This is the yarn. I'll hold it up. Between the pearl stitches. Alexandra, the art of yarn. And they have three patterns. Looks like one that's beaded, one that's not, and then a crochet. This is not And then. They have little beach, volleyball, mermaids have more fun, all kinds of stuff. Oh, the look at these great bags, I know. Oh, they're awesome. They're so cute. They're felt bags. Here, I'll get close to this one. Isn't that? Oh, and then you can button this off and put on a different one so you can pick and choose. Oh my goodness, I'll hold you up again. I'm gonna make everybody sick when I'm doing this stuff. Look at how cute they are. And those are all the little patches. And then there's the tenties over there. I'm not very tall. Okay, there we go. Renee's got the bigger down. Now, see, I wanted this bag. Next up is the yarnery. Their yarn is the... Rubik's one, Cube, this one one is crochet. Yeah, and crochet. they have three colorways, green, red, and blue. <laughs> and then there's this their color. Yeah. See it? It's got oh, yeah. cubes. Here's the green one. It's got cubes. Yes, I do. This is in the cutest little house in St. Paul on Grand Avenue, which is each little room has different kinds of yarn in it. Sorry, I'm turning too fast. So they have knitted wit as their brand, and there's some more knitted wit. So, gosh, any knitted wit lovers, this is the store to come to. And they have Isiger, Isiger, and Peary, and Brooklyn Tweed. Locked. And then they got shelter over here in this room. Ultra Alpaca. All that and the new Highland Harrisville. A little, it's really crowded everywhere. It's not a shop pop trip if you don't get to stop at Cafe Latte. Next up, Three Kittens Needle Arts, which is expanded from one doors to two. So we go in through the knit side and look at their beautiful new space. Isn't it lovely? As you walk in, they have this beautiful Winterfell cardigan or the end of the Game of Thrones. They have Andorra yarn here merino wool highland wool and mohair and look at the color palette oh my goodness there's a rainbow of color yeah and then we're gonna walk all the way back here where they have their game which is mystery date so you can have a crochet pattern uh, or a hat one of the pattern. five contrast colors. Yeah. Or you can so this is the crochet cowl. And be surprised when you get home of what color. This is the hat. Um, there's the yarn. The box is right around the corner there. And then you pick Hi. a <laughs> mini skein color <laughs> for your contrast. Oh, yeah, sure. But if you can't decide on any skin color, look at this. You can do mystery. Here's the mystery date game. Isn't it cute? Of course, they did all their colors match. And then, there you go. <laughs> oh, this is great. What a good choice. Mini foldable boxes. This one open. And then here's the organizers. 
go for pom-poms. Sometimes it's hard to find the color you want. Not here. I am to the Lots. Yeah, they carry tons of Daisy Girl bags. Look at how cute this one is with the clear front and the socks. And then they've got tons of them. DK yarn, but. They needed this at the Rubik's Cube find <laughs> yarn shop in Burnsville. Here we go. Scan to enter. They have code names as their gate game. So we got wall of yarn. Either side. This is a Sun Valley. Wow. So every time that you hit the color, you pearl. Blue. So you knit the gray, you pearl the color. Well, that's kind of cool. Look at, yeah. There we go. Cool. And there's the game. Code names. A little glare on that one. Mission possible. We have blue and gray and an orange and gray. The orange, yes. The gray. Not so much. <laughs> Here's something I've not seen before. It's called perennial. Quite a palette. I, of course, this has caught my eye because I'm wearing my raspberry today. Marina alpaca nylon. Well, this is Kelborn. I looked at this at the last store. Oh, I think their label is just different. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I knit a sweater dress with this. And it automatically it makes this happen. So you get the little flowers. It's called Baby Blossom. Names on the inside. Of the sweater, of the little dress? Yep. Oh, there we go. Simple and sweet little dress. Free on Ravelry, only one skein. Awesome. to get the pattern free. Okay, this is the Buffalo plaid hat. It's a kit at Unwind. I'm still at Unwind. And uh, look at that. Oh my gosh. That's darling. So you can do the slouch hat. Oh, you did it. And then they have. I, 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 that's what I told somebody. <laughs> oh, Bruce City did it. Yeah. It's exclusive. This is appropriate for the, my car today because we are making frequent stops outside yarn shops. Okay, it's starting to rain on our little parade this today. But we are at Twisted Loop. And it is at the Prior Lake Public Library. The all right, there. Okay. Operation yes. is yes. there. The big operation theme. Game out Look there. at yes. them. They're all dressed. They're all decked out in their scrubs. That's awesome. Okay, here. This is what comes in this little kit. You get a tuft lip balm. Adam's apple. Oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, you guys are clever. For suturing. A suture. <laughs> Band aids in case you get hurt. Um, a little spare parts and a little hungry. Food. What is the name of that? Uh, Mind Your Marrow. Mind Your Marrow by Lavender Loon. Oh, Lavender Loon is your diet. Yeah. Oh, and this so makes cute. a sock, a broken rib sock. We're all about the theme. Uh, theme. You guys went hard all in on the theme. Oh, yeah, put the mitt on. What's the name of the mitt? Um, it is the Beeswax Mitt. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, okay. By Amy Vandelar. Okay. That's just we super cute. We had enough yarn left over to make it. Oh, so yeah. Then that way, if you get the little thing, you can make both things. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And what weight is the yarn? I hear you. My favorite. Look at this giant game board. Isn't it cute? And look at they put all the little stuff in each one of the. Spots. Oh, isn't that perfect? And crochet hook. Did someone make this for you guys? Uh, Jenny's husband made it. Oh husband. my lord, look at you guys. I'm going to try to do the yarn ball. Okay, while you watch me. <gasps> oh, <laughs> look at that. Okay, I have to video better. Oh, 
Okay, that that wins the day. Yeah, that is right. Absolutely. That someone made it and it actually works. Oh, it's so cute. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday and we are at our first shop. So let me turn you around. First shop this morning. Amazing threads. Here we go. No, I, I, Biggest I, I, button I, selection I, 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 in the Twin the Cities. Here's their yarn. There's one shawl. More yarn upstairs. Okay, guess what the theme is? Dominoes. Follow the dominoes <laughs> all the way to the back. They are the biggest supplier of Rowan yarn. We have the wall of Rowan all the way down. I'm going to turn you. Look at all this. There's a whole nother aisle over there. We come all the way back here. We have treats today. Look at these little domino shaped treats. And then they have a photo booth. You can dress up, have your picture taken. They've got dots, which I'm sure are representative of the dominoes. Oh, look at these. These are all their baby samples. Look at all those. I'll tuck this one in. See if you can see. Um, got more up here. Whoops, the light is going to be bad there. I'll keep going here. Here's the baby section. All the baby yarns. There's more over here. Here's the whole aisle. Look at all the way down. Look at all the beautiful yarns. Stop number two on Friday. All about yarn. Here we go. Their theme is Candyland. So look at that. I, this was kind of I always love this Some store because look at that. Red wall and fireplace. Doesn't that just speak to you? Okay, we're gonna follow the candy. We'll show you the yarn. Candyland. There's the knit project, and there's the crochet. It is a single skein of Madeline Tosh Merino Light. Super pretty, really soft. And there's the crochet pattern. That's a really pretty stitch. The samples are there. Okay, then we come back here, and they got candy, and they have a photo booth opportunity. Look at who you can have your picture taken with. Fred the Gummy Bear. Look at this cute garland with little yarn balls it's lit up on their fireplace and then here's their candy land tons and tons of samples look at them i'm gonna go all the way look at over there look at all the way all the samples and there's more over there Oh, and look at that! It's my book! I didn't even video that! <laughs> Woohoo! There I am! Okay, next stop. Knit and bolt. Let's go in. Minneapolis. I got caught. This is Costa Rica. 
Darn. That'll work. You yeah. see? Yeah. Right, go all the way back. Okay, we go all the way to the back here by the notions to find the theme. You know, I didn't actually make that. The yarn. Oh, look at all this cute stuff. Oh, she has these great Minnesota stitch markers. Yep. Rest rulers. Okay, the theme is Dungeons and Dragons. Here's their fingerless glove pattern and crochet and then here's the actual mitts and there's the yarn there the yarns by stitch together okay Malabrigo chunky she's got some great yarn bolts here are pretty, huh? Look at them all the way along here. Oh, there. All different ones. Ceramics. I wonder if she, I'm sure she has someone make them. And in this end one, there's a cute hat. Let me show you this. It's sparkly. Isn't that cute? Oh, you want a rainbow? So fond of rainbows. And here's a dark rainbow. Wonderland Yarns. This is 46 yards per one ounce gain. 920 yards in it. <laughs> Don't you love these little put-ups that they do with mini skeins? How cute they are. There's another color back here. Here's a really, this one caught my eye. It's gray, I know, but look at that raspberry. <laughs> There's some more kits, put ups together. Mohair and yarn. Matt found. Real men keep their belongings in a man bag when traveling. It's awesome. He's going to buy it. Okay, this is her little tchotchkes section. This is awesome. Less is s'more. And that's knitted. Those, all those, that twig and that little basket and marshmallows. That's all knitted. She's got an emergency sewing kit. She's got some really cool pins. She's got magnets over here. So lots of fun stuff. She's got all these stitch markers from Coco Knits, Makers Keep, the accessory roll, all that kind of stuff. Here, look at these are all the different ones in this pack. I love you. Hello, sweetie. Thank you very much. Nailed it. Can you dig it? You turn me on. Next up, lunch. Hazel's in Northeast. Real good food. There's Hazel's. Um, there comes Corey. Okay, here we are. You know this is gonna be a party because we eat glitter for breakfast. This is Stephen B. This is his old firehouse. He's got zebra stripes painted all the way around the bottom. And you know that their game is Clue. So they are gonna have a mystery. And we <laughs> got sequins in the photo booth. You can have your picture taken come in here so dramatic the entrance look at the chandelier isn't that great that's where the kitchen is back there way way down there that's the kitchen if you've never been here oh look at the uh, just the opulent bathroom <laughs> Here's where the chocolate is. Yep. There he is, the man of the man of the hour. Man of the house. There's the chandelier. Oh, there's Missy. Hey. Ta-da! Ta-da! There he is. Perfect entrance. Perfect entrance. Oh, you look great. Mr. Peacock has no clue. 
<laughs> the house designer has created the peacock shawlette so that you can practice your fair isle knitting without a whole sweater. Trend right, four colorways. Perfect. Kuhlman, plum, and the rust shade. Oh, awesome. So you have choices, 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 neutral, choices, neutral, choices. Neutral. Here, I'll show this up close. Isn't this pretty? Just stunning. Just stunning. And then these are the choices that he put out here. Mm -hmm. Purple, yellow, red, and then the variegated. Feederbrook Farm. There's Mama Krista. Always a warming presence. Stephen's mom. There is the knitted beautiful antlers. That's the stairs to upstairs because there's even more. There's the fireman's pole space. Wall of yarn all the way around. That's the bay, the door where the door opened um, for the fire truck to, to leave the premises. And now it's got a little stage, so you step up there. All the way around. Ceiling, ceilings painted silver. Don't hit my charm. Okay, there you go. Color. It's all about the color. The shawl. I mean, we gave you a lot of shit about Oh, there's Stephanie's kit. The kit from Three Irish Girls. To get the speckled yarn with the rainbow mohair and the pom pom for the hats of them. So that's Telly Bean Knits. She has a hat out of that kit. Look at these over here. Aren't these striking? This is by In the Deep Hue C. The wall of three Irish girls yarn that is all done for, especially for Stephen B. All the beautiful colors. The wall of Lavender Loon, which you all know I love. All kinds of colors. How are we all doing up here? And back here we've got all kinds of more. Area I think I might shop this year. In the Miss Babs. I love it because Stephen B always has several skeins of each color. So you can get a sweater's quantity. I think I own that one. <laughs> so I'm going to dig a little here. I might. I like that blue and purple one there. This is beautiful. Yeah. Hold it up for me, Matt. There we go. What the fade. It's that brioche on the top and then the bright colors. Tassels. Yeah, really pretty. Okay, here's your stop for spin cycle. Look at all the spin cycle. Here's even more over here. Oh my goodness. All right, if you're looking for spin cycle, and you have a few extra dollars in your pocket, right? Because that's always the case, right? These are smaller skeins for 32. But they're beautiful. Of course, I picked the orange one to show, right? Fobs. Tons and tons of key fobs. Look at all the different ones. Yarn. These are really pretty. Very stunning. Wound together. Here's the tag. Handmaiden. Those beautiful colors peeking out down here. And here's a really for you teal people over on the end. Turquoise. Cannon hand eyes. I swear there's not, you know, something that Stephen B doesn't have. Christy Glass. Unicorn. Oh, don't move it. I am yarned and dangerous. $20? The bonus? Yeah. All the headshots. And then. Here's some more scissors. Brief. Okay, here's a really naughty one. Look away if you're easily offended. There's a whole bunch. Here's a great one. 
Do you want Michael to check the car? <laughs> and we've got I unicorns. Know your kind of <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Alice, you can tell where you are by the orange awning. And we'll come in here. They've got lots of tchotchkes in this store too. And they are shoots and ladders. That's their game. And then here's their lovely colorway. They've got uh, leg warmers. And then a beautiful yellow yarn. I'm going to take one here. I'll show you all. This is Emma's yarn. She is a 17 year old dyer out of Florida. And they're the only people outside of a 30 mile radius that carry this. This is DK. It's not quite that bright that it's showing up on the camera. I bought a sweater's quantity. Here's some more down here. Look at how lovely that is. It is really gray here today, so we all need a little sunshine. A little sunshine. Okay, here's the shop. You have to spin for your treat, so let's spin. You guys all spin with me. Okay, let's see what I get. Ah, three, green. Oh, fun dip. Yeah, that's right up my alley. <laughs> fun dip and pop rocks. I'm taking a mint. I'm cheating. <laughs> cheater, cheater. Cheater, cheater. I at least fessed up right away. We did have good lunch, so probably need a mint. All their stuff here. Just spilling out. And then here's their, they've got come in through the front door, wrap around the back, back out the front door and off jumps Jack. And here's the shoots and ladders someone drew. Isn't that cool? Look at all the big project bags. And here we go, blue sky, blue sky wall entire palette of color and then there's more you turn the corner and then there's more isn't it lovely and there's their wall of yarn there it's really not quite as dark in here as this is showing next stop needle and skein we're on our 13th shop for the shop pop so let's go in Splendor. Fantastic game if you've never played it before. Pattern. No, I'm not familiar with. This is our local purveyor of wolf folk. We've got all kinds of wolf folk. And then over there on the other side is Shibui. There's Matt I'm driving with. And then here is more Shibui. And I'll walk you around. My phone died. And so there's Shibuya on this wall. And she's got a Shaogu needles. Right? There's more. That whole, all the way down there is Shibuya. And she's got tons of Rowan felted tweed. Tons of Rowan felted tweed here. That's amazing. Yeah, lots. I'm going to hold you up, but way back there, that whole section is Road to China Light, which is a great, beautiful yarn if you've never used it before. It's got a sample. Last shop of the day Lakeside Yarn. Lakeside Yarn. Look at this. Because nice yarn matters. All right, let's go in. Another Minnesota yarn shop with a fireplace and couches to sit on. This is last year's pattern. It's absolutely beautiful. It was called Across the Waters. It's available on Ravelry. Cynthia, the yarn store owner, designed it. Isn't it beautiful? It's really pretty. So if you have a speckled skein or a variegated skein and a solid, you could make this up. Tetris. Here is the yarn. 
There is the pattern. Are you filming in for me? I am. I'm, no, I'm filming. Oh, I thought you were I'm filming. videotaping at every store and putting it on my podcast. So this is Woodland Tiles. Okay. That's it up close. So it's got little is bits this of the color. Right there is a second yep. page. Bridget's, so no, sure that's actually not a full one. That's oh. just wrap. Take two skeins of the merino. In this case, it's single stranded on a size four needle. So the wingspan on that is 65 inches and 28 deep. In this case, it's on a size 10 needle and you're double stranding. It is 58 inches wide and 28 inches deep. And then you have a third option, which is paired with a mohair from the same company, dyed to match. It's the same colorway. In this case, you're on a nine needle and it measures the same as the heavier version of this. All the kits are the same price. Hi, everybody. I had to share something that happened to me today. I was at the local knitting store and had one, two, three, four women that had come in to knit and um, get some help on some projects. And these are women who I have been working with for probably the last, oh, year, most, not quite a year for some of them. And they are kind of on their probably fourth or fifth projects, right? They start out with a hat um, in beginning knitting at the library, and then they go to intermediate knitting. And then uh, some take intermediate knitting again, where they knit a cowl. Um, and then they've moved on, and they've all started um, uh, meeting together, this group of women, uh, to further their knitting and get together. So they meet at the library, and um, I'm not a part of that group unless they invite me to teach them something. But today, they were having a conversation about a shawl that one of the women brought home from Florida that everyone was knitting down there. So it's a very lightweight, open, airy, um, kind of a garter stitch uh, cotton. Uh, and they're discussing edgings. And they're discussing if they should slip the first stitch because the pattern calls for knit front and back along the edge and they're going back and forth and they're, they, they, they're changing the pattern. The pattern calls for casting on 30 stitches and they didn't want it to be that rounded at the bottom so they were casting on five and then they were talking about casting on 10 and they were making all of these <laughs> big knitter choices and my heart was just swelling because they've come so far and the conversation that they were having and the, the talking and the energy that they were having around this shawl and what they could do with it and how they could change it to make it their own was just so inspiring. And like, I was like, ah, they're like, they're real knitters. And not that they haven't been from the beginning, but it was like empowering to kind of see um, how they have progressed and a year ago, you're teaching them the knit stitch and they, they don't know what you're talking about. They can't see their stitches. They can't understand. They, they don't know what you're, what you're trying to explain to them sometimes. And it was just the best moment in that afternoon. I, I literally had nothing to do with it. They were having the discussion. The table was all laid out. It, it, I was just observing for a big part of it, I did chime in toward the end to give them some more um, background information um, on some changes that they were talking about making, and then we had even more of a discussion. But it was just, it was just a great couple of hours um, watching people tackle the idea of knitting and then taking it like to the next level, and like they're going to be knitters now for the rest of their lives and and they can discuss and um, kind of look at knitting in a different way than they could before it was just it was a great moment and i just thought gosh i should just share that with everyone <laughs>